Hey SketchUpers, this is Aaron. A uh, couple weeks ago I posted a skill builder on how to take a uh, image, a texture that wasn't seamless, and how to break it up and apply it across a bunch of surfaces. Had several questions on how I would actually go about making it a seamless texture. That was not what the intent of that was. It was not a seamless texture. It was actually a bunch of individual uh, groups of textures, I guess you'd say, because it wasn't it wasn't a rectangle. I couldn't tile it over a bunch of spaces. It would have looked weird. So I thought, maybe we'll do something similar, take a similar texture and make it tileable inside a SketchUp. No external photo editing software. I looked on Google. There's a whole bunch of, of tutorials on how to tile uh, images inside of Photoshop or even GIMP or something like that. So don't ask. I'm not going to show you how to do this in Photoshop. This is SketchUp channel. Of course, I know that by saying that, the first question down below will be, can you show me how to do it in Photoshop? Um, <laughs> so no, no, I won't. But uh, we'll take a look right now at how to do that only inside of SketchUp. So let's hop in. First thing I'm going to do, of course, is go up to File and Import and import the material I want to use. I'm just going to import it as an image. So I'm going to pull on this wood floor, pull it in, just drop it down at the origin, double click to place it and that will bring it in as an image. I can right click then of course and I can say explode. Exploding an image just creates a surface with a texture on it. You can see right away that big texture showed up right here in my uh, list of colors in the, in the model. Alright so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to make a bunch of tiles to start with. And there are a bunch of ways to make a tiling texture. You can see right now if I grab this edge right here and I pull it out, that is how it's currently going to tile. So you can see this is not a smooth transition from one piece of wood to another. So this is not a tiling texture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to start by picking a single rectangle, a single piece of wood. So I'm just going to go like that. Actually, I'm going to scoot this line over just a touch. All right, this is board number one. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to hit move with the modifier key to copy, and I'm going to copy it over here. This is my number one board. Now, I'm going to grab these four lines, click, 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 and I'm going to move them to where my next board is going to come from. So I'm going to grab this darker one right here. I'm going to click right here. All right. Now you'll notice immediately a couple things happen. One is that this is not exactly lined up. It's not lined up perfectly. It also is bigger than the image. So it kind of went off the edge. It did fill the surface and it used the texture that I had before. Actually, this is probably the tiling texture. Um, so that's actually the end of this board over here being tiled to the next material. That's not gonna work, obviously. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start by erasing this line right here. I don't need that uh, line. This rectangle is how big I need my board to be. So what I'm going to do right now is right click inside this rectangle, go to texture, and then I'm going to click position. All right, position is going to give me my fixed pins. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just click and release on each of these and drag them and put them in the corner of the image. Not the corner of the lines I've drawn, but the corner of the image of this one board. I am aware that this board is slightly shorter than what I want uh, the actual image to be, so I'm going to stretch it a little bit by doing this, but that'll be okay. So I'm just going to stick each of these pins into a corner of the image of this board. Once they're all in there, then I'm going to click and drag them once, one at a time to the corners of the board until I get that. And actually, you know what? I don't like the way that ends right there, so I want to pull this one just, just past, like that. All right, that looks good. So when I click out here, the important part is that when I move this board out, and I bring it over here, uh, that looks good. It looks like its own thing. I don't have any of the images of the other sides of the other pieces going on so that's good. All right from here now I'm going to go ahead and grab maybe four or five more of these boards and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay so there we go. 
I now have six boards here pulled out of distorted versions of the original texture. So you can see over here, this texture is still the only texture that's in here. So the next step I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to make each of these into its own unique texture. And this is simple. You just click, make unique. As you do that, each one's going to actually show up as a separate board over here. See that? So each one is going to show up on its own. So if you wanted, if you were so inclined, you could actually stop at this point right now and go into your model and actually use these individual textures and just lay them down board by board. I don't want to do that. I want to create a seamless texture, so I'm going to take this one step further. I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to copy it over to the side and I'm going to grab another one and grab by the corner option and stick right here and then maybe one more, maybe this one right here. And that's going to be the width of my final texture. It's going to be this wide. So what I need now is I need to put another row that is actually going to tile. So I'm going to grab this dark one. I'm using this one because it has the most distinct texture. It'll be easy to see if this is tiling properly. I'm going to grab it by the midpoint. So right in the middle. And I'm going to line that midpoint up with the edge of that previous side. I'm going to take the exact same material, exact same texture, same board, and put it on the other side. Then I can fill in the inside here with two more boards. All right, now I'm going to go make my next, the next row is going to be right above that. Have this one by the middle. Right above there, maybe I'll grab this one. This is where you can do your own thing. You know how to make your uh, materials look good. All right, something like that. Whoop, no. That looks a little too close to the other one, doesn't it? How about this guy right here? I'm just going to grab this. Put it right there. Now I'm going to do one more row. One more row with a piece sticking out. I'm going to grab this. Uh, I'm going to grab this one right here. Here on one end. Make sure this one lines up directly with this one below. And then I'm going to take it and copy it right over to the other side. And then we'll fill in the inside with a couple more tiles. And one more. Oops, I didn't copy. That's okay. We're nearing the finish line. I actually need these tiles to be separate anymore right now. All right, with that done, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line right up here. So I'm going to cut two tiles off on either end. Get rid of them over there. Get rid of them over there. And now what I can do is I can select this whole bit right here, right click, and say combine textures. That's going to take each of the individual textures that I put onto here and make it one big texture. It's going to ask me, do I get rid of those interior edges? I'm going to hit yes. And now we're going to do a test. To test and see if the seamlessness worked, I'm just going to grab this end line and move it. And look at that. There's my, my tile that was broken. This one's supposed to break. This one's supposed to break. That is the edge. But I can actually make this big and my tiles repeat now. Again, opposed to this one over here, if I repeat this one, you can tell immediately that's not right. That line's not, not, uh, not looking seamless. In fact, it probably goes vertically too. Not so much, but yeah, you can tell that that's not a seamless texture. That is not uh, tiling properly. This one right here now is a brand new texture. So this texture right here is what we would want. In fact, if you wanted to, you could actually delete all these original uh, images and just use this one material right here. So hopefully that helps. Uh, like I said, we had that question quite a few times a couple weeks ago, so that's how I would go about it. Obviously, it's not the only way to do it. There's other ways. Like I said, there's ways outside of SketchUp you could do too, but that is the way that I came up with to, as easy as possible, create a tiling texture inside of SketchUp. If you like that, go ahead and click like down below so we know. Uh, if you want to get notified when more videos like this come out, click subscribe. We release a couple videos a week, and we'd love to let you know when we let a new one out. 
Most importantly though, leave a comment. Like I said, this whole video was created because of comments we had on a previous video. Love to hear what you guys would love to see out of us. And we like making videos, but we like making them a lot more when they show something that you want to see. Thank you.